How did you get ahead of us? Ha <laughs> ha! I'll freely admit I wasn't actually expecting you to join the Alliance. But not even in my wildest dreams did I imagine you'd try to flee the ship with our dearest princess. You're a bold one, I'll give you that. I wasn't expecting to run into either of you on the way out either. You guys aren't called the Phantom Thief and Dubily the Swift for nothing. <laughs> Trying to praise us won't get us to let you pass. Ha <laughs> ha! Princess Alfin is one of this nation's most precious treasures. You surely couldn't have thought that I, the Phantom Thief, would allow you to steal her from us, could you? I'm not being stolen by anyone. If anything, I was the one who whispered sweet nothings into his ear and tempted him to run away with me. Oh my! What a passionate young lady you are. Forgive me for being so presumptuous. You've no doubt taken after your brother in more ways than one. I'd like to believe that I'm not quite the oddball he is. I couldn't agree more with his belief that love is the truest form of beauty, however. Really now? <laughs> They're actually hitting it off. I think that's enough messing around for one day. You're an enforcer, Blue Blanc. Take your work seriously and behave! Ha ha! I think the number of enforcers who take things seriously are in the minority, I'm afraid. Still, you're right about us having played around for long enough. I find the many mysteries surrounding you fascinating, but there's a certain appeal to them remaining forever unsolved, too. You may think yourself a swordsman, but allow me to show you how little you truly know. Uh, are you sure you can do this? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. The gap in skill between us is small enough that I should be able to force our way through. Oh? Small? The difference in our strength is like night and day, you boar! And if you're foolish enough to be unable to see that, then allow me to make you realize your folly and pay for your arrogance. The one being foolish and arrogant is you. Huh? My, my. Green? I owe me being able to do this to you, your highness. You and Elise. No. Everyone who's done anything to aid us in coming this far deserves thanks. What's happened to him? Could this be your ogre power? <gasps> Eight leaves, one blade school, intermediate level. I, Green Schwarzer, will be your opponent. <laughs> I will enjoy this! This is... his ogre power? Let's move! Here we go. 
Here we go. Yes! Yeah! Let's move. How can this be happening? What is he? Ha ha ha! Splendid! Simply splendid! So you finally conquered your power and made it your own, did you? You continue to fascinate me, Reen. Reen! Forgive me, Your Highness. What for? Ah! Goodness! Wait just a damn minute! Whoa, what's going on here? I don't know. But I don't think it's worth us chasing after them. We'll make our way directly to the deck. Are you alright, Your Highness? Yes! Perfectly! My heart just feels as if it's about to burst! That doesn't sound very fine. Come on, is now really the time to be flirting with each other? You're here too! <laughs> you got some real guts, kiddo. But you ain't getting past us. Zephyr's guard shall not be easily broken. Hmm. <sighs> Looks like he's picked up a few tricks from our fee. The targets have broken our line of defense. Commencing pursuit. I'm sorry about that, Your Highness. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. But, um, can I hold on to you a little tighter? Of course. <laughs> Targets in sight, commencing capture. My suspicions outlining you as an indecent person seem to have been confirmed. Can you not make me out to be some kind of pervert all the time, please? Target lost. I may have underestimated you, Reen Schwarzer. In more ways than one. I'm so sorry, Your Highness. I didn't really have any choice but to do that. I realize that's no excuse. I, I know you didn't. But she... She seemed even younger than me. How could you, Reen? That truly is indecent! Um, try not to pay any attention to what she says about me. There's the exit! Don't change the subject! the Ashen Knight? Isn't that... Crow! And... <sighs> huh. So that's how it manifests for you. You finally mastered that power you got, huh? Still, you're one busy guy, you know that? One minute you're down in the dumps, the next, you've got one of the cutest girls in the country cheering you up. <laughs> well, I can't deny it. But she wasn't the only one. There was my sister, our classmates, even you, in a sense. Come on. 
Can't say I'm not curious to see what that power of yours can do. But I think you get priority here, right? Yeah, let me have this one. Your Highness, if you don't mind. All right. This is your first time fighting me without the mask on, I think. With our Divine Knights, I come out on top. But let's see who wins when it's just the two of us. Sounds good to me. You managed to win against three of us at once in the catacombs below Heimdall. But it's just you and me now. And this time, I'll be the victor! <laughs> Go ahead and try. Alright, you ready, Reen? Gotcha! gotcha! My turn! actually did it. I sure wasn't expecting you to beat me one-on-one. -on -one. You fought pretty well yourself. It couldn't have been easy to last as long as you did against me like this. Harine! Why did this have to happen now? Guess your luck ran out. Well, aren't you, Mr. Popular? But I think you may have been slightly too reckless this time. <clears throat> that wasn't a bad fight. Even if you lost, at least you tried, I guess. <sighs> Your Highness, please move away from me! 
Hey, don't be too rough with... Look sharp! You all. Sorry for the wait, Rain. <laughs> Yo! We're here to save the day! You caught us all off guard back in your mirror. So this time we opted to take the initiative ourselves. We meet again, Severing Chains. And I see you brought the purple lightning with you. She brought more than that. Check out the Icy Maiden and that big shot arts user from the Bracer Guild. We couldn't ask for a more impressive one. However... Here it comes again. Y your Lordship! Uncle Victor! It's good to see you again, Lord. And it relieves me to see you're none the worse for wear, your highness. Ugh! The Radiant Blade Master is here too? Huh. Wow. You're strong. Very strong. That's quite the nod coming from the Blazing Demon himself. I can see now why you're considered one of the fiercest in Ouroboros, and why some even claim you to be the Steel Maiden's equal. Well, I know who I'm gonna be fight. Don't you go forgetting about us now. You're all here too? Are you okay, Reen? Looks like we've landed in the middle of something pretty crazy. And not a moment too soon. You came! I'm glad to see you're all right. You certainly seem to have kept yourself busy. Enjoying your scandalous elopement with Rain, are you? Oh, he gave me the time of my life. You guys were having that much fun, huh? And with our princess, Rain. To think we were so worried about you. You're not supposed to take it literally. Hmm. So this is what you threw me out of Valimar for? Doesn't look very fun. <laughs> Bro, you're here. It feels like it's been ages since we last saw you. <laughs> you're looking spiffy, Crow. I'm hanging in there. Sure wasn't expecting all of you to show up, though. How are we even gonna settle this? That is the question, isn't it? I'd roughly estimate both sides to be of equal strength. Yeah, so we'd probably just end up at a stalemate, huh? Well. Doesn't sound like much fun at all. What say we just forego the fighting and have ourselves a party instead? Ha ha ha! I could never turn down a party! <laughs> that sounds simply wonderful. I'll bring the booze. Ah! No, no, no! Can't one of you take this a little more seriously? This is getting us nowhere. Who decided to show up? Krianos! Vita! <laughs> Welcome aboard the Pantagruel, Emma. Your overall ability as a witch might still be lacking, but that transportation spell was exceptional. I must apologize for the untimely intrusion. As displeased as a few of you might be by the idea, I think it best if we let one another peacefully go our separate ways this time. I'll be the one who bears the brunt of Duke Cayenne's anger. Vita. Uh, can't say I understand why we should. It's not our place to question the orders of our clients. Eh, uh, whatever. Gives me something to look forward to later.
Okay. See ya, Fee. Next time we meet, it will be as enemies. Yep. I know. Aww. I was kind of hoping we'd be able to talk some more. I expect we will have multiple opportunities to do so in the near future. Well, catch you later, Phantom Thief. Or not. You do know that no one likes your stupid pranks, right? Tut tut! There's no need to be so harsh. It's a shame we couldn't resume our debate on the nature of beauty this time, my most worthy rival. I could wax eloquent about beauty till I'm old and gray, but honestly, I think it's about time we settle things between us. Next time we meet Radiant Blade Master and his daughter, it will be to battle! Well, I certainly have no objection to that. You seem to bear some manner of ill will against my household. I don't know your reasons. But should we be granted the opportunity, I would gladly settle things with you at battle. Yes, well... Let's not be too hasty. I can wait. Guess that wraps things up for now. You've definitely grown, but you've still got plenty of room for improvement, especially when it comes to piloting Valimar. So unless you're up for another beatdown, I suggest you get to work on fixing that. Yeah, I know. Oh, and just to confirm, you were the one who told Toval where I was, right? <sighs> Two days ago, I got a call out of nowhere on my Arcus. They gave me this crazy amount of detail on exactly where to find you. Then they just hung up. Didn't even say who they were. Oh, now that you mention it, he does have the same voice as that mystery caller. I did think he sounded familiar. That must have been because I'd heard it during your concert at the festival. Damn, looks like the jig is up. You really did that? Oh, Crow, there's no shame in admitting that you care, you know. And if I might be so bold as to offer a word of advice, get Valimar a better sword, one like yours. If you think you're such hot stuff you can beat me without your eight leaves training, you're in for a world of hurt. <sighs> Correct choice of armaments is, is indeed paramount. Selecting one the Awakener is well suited to will increase combat efficiency exponentially. I can't pretend to know much about this kind of thing. He's right. Eastern blades like Maitachi are the heart and soul of the Eight Leaves One Blade style swordsmanship. Alright, I'll take your advice. And when I've got myself one, I'll finally take everything back. The Academy, Elise, and even you, Crow. <sighs> <laughs> if that's how you want it, I'd like to see you try. Thanks for all you've done, Valimar. 
I'll be counting on you if anything else comes up. Acknowledged. Prepare yourself for your next encounter with the Azure Knight, my way. Don't worry, I will. We lost last time, but I know that's not all I'm capable of. As long as we're all together, I know I can get stronger. I eagerly await the results. Looks like he went to sleep. So, this is what the Great Ashen Knight looks like up close, huh? I've heard all manner of rumor about it, but I never expected I'd stand in the presence of a legend. I can't possibly begin to thank you enough. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't come to my aid. Thank you. Really. And that goes for everyone else, too. Thanks for coming to rescue me, guys. <laughs> We're just happy you're okay. Just don't scare us like that again, alright? <laughs> True. We were all on edge waiting for you to get back. <laughs> and yet you somehow managed to come out unscathed with her highness in tow. You make it sound like it was easy. Well, easy or not, it was worth going on board. I got plenty of useful info out of it. So funny enough, I'd say their invitation worked to my benefit more than theirs. <laughs> I guess there's no harm in looking at the positives now that all's said and done. Look at you, acting mature and all grown up. Brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> Looks like we have some catching up to do. I'd like to follow Reen's lead and extend my thanks to each of you as well. Thank and, dear brother, it's a relief to see you safe and sound. Though I never pictured my great escape would end with you in this airship, of all things. <laughs> We did time our appearance fabulously, if I do say so myself. My only regret is that we weren't able to blow in with a storm of rose petals when we boarded them. Hmm. Perhaps I should have asked Emma to look into the feasibility of making such a magnificent entrance. Oh man, that would have been so cool! Well, it's probably not impossible. No, you're just being silly. Sounds about right for our prince. <laughs> Well, at the very least, I'd say we're clear of any immediate danger. And given this opportunity, I'd like to sit down with you to discuss our situation and exchange any pertinent information. But first, I think we have a few more reunions to celebrate. Reen! Uh. Toa! George! I thought I heard your voices when we started flying away from the Pantagruel. So you were on board too? <laughs> you bet. Good to see you, Ring. <sighs> Whoa! It, it's really you. You're really okay. No sooner had we found out that you were still alive, we got told you had been taken by the Alliance. We've been so, so worried about you. I'm a real troublemaker, aren't I? Sorry, Toa, but I'm glad to see you and George made it out okay. Everything I've said to you has been at the back of my mind ever since we parted ways in Trista. And it's kept me going every step of the way. So, thank you. Oh. <laughs> you remembered. You promised me you wouldn't die. And you didn't. And then there was the promise you made during the festival after party. You said that next year you'd work to make the Academy even more wonderful than it is now. We still need to work on that one, but I know you're not the kind of guy who'd go back on his word. See? Rain's a guy you can count on. Nice to see you're holding up, okay? Still can't believe you made it through all that fighting in Trista in one piece, but... Well, here you are. Good to see you again, George. But how'd you two end up on the Courageous to begin with? We'll bring you up to speed once we all sit down for our meeting. There's a conference room on one of the upper floors. We can meet there when you're ready.
Courageous began its independent operations right before Heimdall was first occupied. I realized what the Alliance was planning, so I gathered a skeleton crew, met with Viscount Arsade, and we hurried straight to Trista, where we found your classmates locked in combat with the Azure Knight. I see. That explains why you were in Trista. I shudder to think what would have happened if not for the Courageous' timely appearance. What have you been doing since then, Father? I hadn't heard anything about your whereabouts until now. Eventually, we were able to shake off the Azure Knight's pursuit. And we've been traveling around the country ever since, preparing to find you and take you on board. George and I haven't been here long. The principal managed to get in touch with the Courageous without anyone noticing and sent us here. He did? I hope he's still alright. By the way, what happened to Major Vander? You two are always joined at the hip. Ah, alas, he is currently indisposed. His military obligations have him heading up the 7th Armored Division in Western Erebonia. They're working with your former instructor, Major Nightheart, as well. With him, too? So he's over in the West now. Huh. <laughs> I should have known the 4th Armored Division's ace wouldn't get his ass kicked so easily. Oh, right. Dad said he'd heard from him, too, remember? Still, the west side of the country contains Marquis High Arm Sutherland Province, along with Duke Cayenne's La Mer Province. The fighting there would no doubt be even more fierce than it is here in eastern Erebonia. Correct. A large percentage of the Imperial Army's military strength still remains intact. But the Noble Alliance forces' constant attacks have put them at a disadvantage. On top of that, a number of townships in the region have been caught in the crossfire and suffered great losses. That's terrible. <sighs> I'd heard as much, but it still pisses me off to hear it. With the 3rd and 4th Armored Divisions occupied on the eastern side of the country, one can only assume the Noble Alliance intends to use that as an opportunity to crush the forces in the west. Yeah, but they're not stupid. I bet the army in the west is putting up a pretty good fight by themselves. It's too early to call things just yet. An astute assessment. The situation in the Western Theater could change at a moment's notice. Right. But that means we're uncertain what course to pursue now. And having said that... We have a question to pose to all of you. The question, really. With the whole of the Empire caught in the throes of civil war, what exactly do all of you intend to do from here on out? Us? We were in the midst of discussing that when Rain was taken to the Pantagruel, in fact. Hmm... This is a full-on war, and our fellow Erebonian countrymen stand on both sides. No one here is delusional enough to think that a group of students like us are capable of stopping it by ourselves. Still, during our field studies, we found ourselves up against the problems this nation faces again and again. And because we have that experience, I believe there's a place for us to change things in all this, a part only we can play. We may not be able to compete head-on with the Alliance, but together, we can move things in the right direction for Erebonia as a whole. <laughs> that was wonderful, Reen. Hmm. Hmm. Still, we aren't all gathered here for the same reasons. Be it rescuing Elise or settling things with Crow, we've all got something that we personally want to accomplish. But accomplishing those things won't be possible with the situation as it stands. And that's why, no matter how stacked the odds are against us, or how fierce the fighting becomes, we want to put everything we have into making all the difference we possibly can, in whatever way we can. I think I speak for everyone in Class 7 when I say that. You bet! I agree completely. We may all come from different walks of life, but this time, that can work for us. Exactly. We have something no one else does, and because of that, we can do things no one else can. 
And what kind of class would we be if we didn't take advantage of that to protect the people and things we love? As well as find our own answers to the questions we have looming over us. As Reen said, however big or small it is in the long run, we have a place in this war, and we have every intention of following it. Sounds like it'll be a pain, though. Eh, no biggie. We're Class 7! Throw in a few of Reen's trademark speeches and we're raring to go! <laughs> Look at you kids. You all sound like you've really thought long and hard about this. <laughs> That's the Class 7 I'm proud to serve. And you guys aren't the only ones who feel that way. Everyone at Thor's has something to bring to the table. Remember the Academy's motto? Arise, O oh youth, and become the foundation of the world. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was what Principal Van Dyke said to us at the welcoming ceremony. The words of Dreykel's The Lionheart serve to inspire us to this day, it would seem. Of course. They ring as true as ever. <laughs> it's like you didn't even have to think about it. You guys just knew. Yeah, you should be proud of yourselves. And it's true that Thor students are scattered all over the country right now. But I'm sure that each and every one of them are fighting too, and they feel the exact same way that you guys do. I understand. Your Highness. Indeed. I figured you would have already given it some thought, but I wasn't expecting such a stirring conviction. But I think this at least settles the matter of what course to take. If you would do the honors, Captain. As you wish. We're about to do something neither side would ever expect us to do. We're going to entrust this ship to you. From here on out, the Courageous is yours to command as you see fit. What? What? Uh, father, would you mind elaborating? <laughs> it means exactly what it sounds like. The operation of this ship will be left entirely to your discretion. I imagine your journey to make a difference in this war needs a home base to begin from. Well, yes, but... But then what will you do? We plan to disembark and make our way to the Western Provinces. Once there, we'll begin working with the 7th Armored Division and the other neutral forces in the region. The intention is to ensure that as few innocents as possible are harmed by this conflict. I was actually worried this airship might prove a bit too conspicuous to aid us in pursuing that goal. But with us headed west, we'd be leaving all of Eastern Erebonia in your hands. Um, wow. Uh. I see. That does make the most logical sense. Kinda. If we've got the Courageous, we could give our third faction some real weight. Neither side could afford to ignore us. <laughs> I'm not even sure the Guild could come up with a plan this wild. <laughs> well, it's fair to say I've learned a lot from the way the Guild's members handle things, yourself included. Oh, and Alfin? Yes? I'd like to ask you to remain on board the Courageous as well. This ship is technically the property of the Arner household, fathers in particular. It should give them a certain freedom to act if they have concrete backing from a member of the Imperial family. <gasps> I'd be happy to! Henceforth, I, Princess Alfin Rice Arner, will guarantee the legitimacy of their actions. So do whatever you see fit to do. You have my full support. Thank you, Your Highness. Wow! We are truly honored to have you with us. No turning back now. Yeah, seriously.
We hereby humbly accept custody of the Courageous. Please, leave Eastern Erebonia to us. We'll be counting on you then. Huh. I'm looking forward to toasting your future successes. I'm leaving you in charge of the Courageous's day-to-day -day operations. I don't doubt you'll make a fine acting captain. It would be an honor. Green, this is just a little parting gift from me. It's always come in handy for me when I was in a pinch, so I hope it'll help you out too. Thanks, Toval. You've done a lot for us. It always felt like you were looking out for me, even when it came to my future. <laughs> Think nothing of it. You kids are the future, after all. But remember, this is where it starts getting serious. Get yourself through this war in one piece. Find something you want to dedicate your life to. And hey, if you ever decide you want to follow the same path Sarah and I did, you'll be welcomed with open arms, okay? <laughs> I'll be sure to give it some thought. <sighs> okay, okay. Knock it off with the scouting. Well then, it's time we bid you all a fond farewell for now. Chin up, Alfin. I'm counting on your charm to keep everyone motivated. May the goddess be with you. 
I look forward to the stories you'll have to tell when next we meet, Laura. Good luck, Father. They go. You think they'll be okay on their own? Only the goddess herself knows for certain. Still, with some already calling this a second advent of the War of the Lions, I can only hope they make it through unscathed. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they'll all be just fine. They don't bear the symbol of the Horned Lion for show. Yes, I suppose you're right. And the same goes for me, too. I can't very well call myself a Thor's alumnus and fail to deliver. Well, well. Are we birds of a feather? Proud Thor's graduates unite. <laughs> I'll be in touch with them plenty in the coming weeks, so don't worry. The old guard will do as it must to keep watch over the young and vigilant. Speaking of the old guard, Chancellor Osborne was also a Thor's graduate, was he not? Yes, he was. <laughs> Sorry to say, I can't picture it. Was he now? He and I may have had our differences, but I still feel a certain loss with his passing. I'd like to express my condolences to you while I have the chance. I'm afraid I never had the chance to truly get to know him. But there's no doubt in my mind that he was one of the greatest men of our time. Thank you. Still, it must be tough for you with Heimdall under the Alliance's thumb. Were you able to find out where his funeral was held? Actually... Uh... Captain? Is something amiss? It's just that I received a strange report on that very issue. I was told his body was taken into the custody of the Imperial Guardsmen when the city was occupied. But then after that... It simply disappeared at some point. Disappeared, you say? Is it possible the reformist faction could have taken it from them? I'm afraid I don't know. It is possible that the intelligence division did something to that effect. Hmm. A disappearing corpse is certainly cause for concern. It's difficult not to draw parallels with the Lance Maiden's sudden death following the War of the Lions. Ah, <sighs> unbelievable. I'm almost impressed how much trouble one man can stir up, even from beyond the grave. He had so many plots in motion, I doubt even his death put a stop to them all.